guys, it's Full Cuts here, live direct from Brooklyn, New York, and from me today I have a box of the Nan Tin Nan Tin Nan 2000 Pacific Crown Royale. Always good for my morale. This is an old school box, guys. Uh, it's Pacific, so it isn't Panini. Of course, Panini ended up uh, buying the Pacific brand. Uh, I also have this to open up. It's an ITG Superlative Hockey from 2008-9, and it's devoted and focused on the Leafs, and it's this massive binder. Uh, coming to a video near you, stay tuned for that, because that will be dope. Uh, so here we go guys, configuration 6 cards per pack, 25 packs per box, which it would be 150 cards on the nose, and there is a box topper pack. Within a box break, expect 2 card supials, what are called card supials, we shall find out. Should expect 24 of the Ice Elite, 1 Kramer's Choice Jumbo, those are those cool triangular cards and they're jumbos of them, 1 Team Captain Die Cut, and 25 International Glories. There are also the Premier Date Parallels number to 73 and I think we should receive at least one of those. So do look for short prints, look for parallels. Uh, the parallels of the Kramers, I think, are numerous, uh, numbered to 35, 30, 25, depending on whether they're blue or light blue or purple. Uh, old school plastic. Uh, thicker than your usual plastic, substantial plastic. Uh, there we go. Man, look at this thing. Wow, so this is the box topper. So bang, it just opens up like that. Pretty uh, simple and cool. This uh, box has taken a beating, guys. I'll be honest, it's taken a severe beating over the years. And there you go. And here is our box topper and we have this. You know what it is? It's an April 26, 2000 Omega. Uh, information so that is really old school right there so let us see the box topper what the box topper might be and boom cool so we have two jumbos within here and there we go we have wow we hit the Paul Korea that is really nice and it's a Kramer's Choice Award Paul Korea uh, jumbo and let's see I don't I think and card number one nice very nice uh, I don't think this is a parallel, I'm guessing. Sorry, the cat just tried to knock down the superlative box. So here we go, guys. It's one of the Jumbos uh, box topper cards. And this is number to 960. I believe all of them are number to 960, so this would be a base. And it's Patrick Love, first all time in wins in the playoffs. Excellent. Now, with regard to the rookie class, uh, I believe they have prospects on what they call rookies, but they aren't necessarily true rookies. There's always debates around what's a true rookie, what's not a true rookie. I hate getting into those debates. Uh, I hate the fact that people rely on Beckett and Beckett gets to decide what are true rookies. But Patrick Stefan should be within this product. Uh, a couple others like Kyle Calder, um, Halinka, and who else? I think Johan Hecht and Nagy and Antropov and Steve Korea also in this, this product. And those would be true rookies, all four of those. So here's a Kachuk, pretty cool. So this uh, is one of those um, international uh, stars, I guess, or whatever they call them. And then we have the Ray Bork. And we have, these are really cool die cuts, guys. So these are the base cards. How nice are these base cards? Uh, eighth overall, 1979, is that, isn't that right? Mark Recchi and uh, Brian Smolinski. Wow, and this is a Cujo that stuck to the Brian Smolinski. So let's see the Cujo, there you go. And here's the Cujo. What handsome looking cards, man, really, really cool. And this is a Timo Solani. I think they're the ice cards or whatever they're called. So these in fact are the International Glories and these are called the Ice Elite cards. Uh, so you know. So that box has really been kicked about. Uh, no autos in this product, it's obviously a very early product. So here's another one of the International Glories. We should get them every single pack. And it's the Beezer uh, with the flyers. Very cool. And these are the base cards. So here we go again. We've got Timo Solani, Ron Tugnat, who I have in the background there. And we have Marion Hossa, Chris Gratton. And our ice card would be of Steve Korea. So this is a rookie card of his, believe it or not, a rookie insert. Oh, here we go. We have a Canadian here and we have Lindros. Nice. Then we have the Brendan Shanahan, Mike Richter, uh, the Robin Regeer, and the Steve Shields. And the Ice Elite would be Mark Recchi. So the Robin Regeer, uh, as you can tell, the coloring is a bit different and it is numbered to 450. Uh, so it's regarded as one of the rookies. Uh, I don't believe it's a true rookie, but uh, it's a rookie card. And you just notice that the coloring is the opposite. 
with a rookie emblem. So it's not considered a true rookie, and I really hate the fact that Beckett and these companies decide that because his first year in the NHL was in fact 99, 2000. So on what basis does Beckett decide something's a true rookie? Who knows? I absolutely despise that. These are denoted rookie cards. They should be perceived as rookie cards because that's how they're denoted by the card companies. That's how I perceive it. So there's Simon Gagné. And continuing on, we have a Chris Chelios. We have Fister. We have Ladislav Nagy, so here's another one of the rookies, denoted rookie, uh, Vinny Donfus, as well as the ice elite of David Legwand. Uh, David Legwand as well. Um, I think within the set, they consider Legwand either a prospect or a rookie. Again, not a true rookie, according to uh, the nonsense companies. Theo Fleury, very cool. We have a Brett Hull, we have a Brian Savage. We have this Nova Seltsev, okay. Another one denoted rookie, Al McInnes, and the Brett Hall. So it looks like the International Glories and the Ice Elites are every single pack, more or less. Okay, so here we have Emil and Hayduke, and we have Luke Robitaille, so these are base cards. And oh, so here is our first card supial. I think we get we received two of these. So we received another Patrick, a very Patrick heavy box. Wow, how weird is that? What on earth is this? So Patrick with a card supial um, inside it. How crazy is that? It's like a kangaroo. So that's what the card supial marsupial vibe is with little Van Breesbrook inside it. That is wild. What a weird idea. Tom Barrasso, as well as the Tony Monte. All right, continuing on, more Patrick, of course, Arthur's Herbe. Oh, cool, is that a parallel or is it just turned upside down? Let's see, so we have the Travis Green, we have the Vinnie Le Cavalier, we have the Sammy Kapanen, we have the Claude Lemieux, and what is this one of Jeff Friesen? Uh, I think it's just a base card that was turned uh, inside out. All right, Dominic Kashek, Pekka, Dougie Waite, and the rookie would be Ryan Christie, denoted rookie, of course. Uh, and we do have a Grant Fuhrer with the Calgary Flames. That is awesome. As well as the Marion Hosa, nice elite. Packs open so easily in comparison and contrast to the Okichi open the other day. So this Patrick Stefan is a rookie card, a rookie insert card. And then we have the Byron Defoe, Stevie Y, Tommy Salo, Peter Bondra, and the Luke Robitaille. Nice elite. Tima Solani. We have the Andrew Brunette, Lexi Yashin. And here we go again. So this is the other supial, is it not? Oh wait, we have two cards here that are stuck together. So we have the Hashek, the Hashek card supial inside the Lindros. That is just so bizarre. What a bizarre card. Uh, the Isolate of Geo, Sakic, and a Matt Sandine base die cut. Scotty Gomez. Key Bear, Daniel Alfredson, Travis Green. We have the Vinny Le Cavalier and Joe Thornton. Nice to see Travis Ranger in his playing days. He's actually a pretty decent player. Out of BC originally. Uh, Marty Bordeaux, Fedorov, Janssen. Alex Tongay, so this again is uh, listed as a rookie card, although I doubt it's considered a true rookie, to my chagrin. Mike Vernon and a Jeremy Roenick. I'm harping on it, but the reason I'm harping on it is his first year was 1999-2000, so it should be considered a true rookie. Wow, there's Saku Koivu. Nice. Continuing on, Yuri Lettinen, Marty Boudoir, and here's the Steve Korea rookie card. Jeff Friesen and a Marty Boudreau Elite Ice. Nice Elite. Another international glory here, and it would be Ziggy Palfi. More Patrick. Josie Theodore, Stevie Y, Chris Pronger, and Brendan Shanahan. 50 cards, guys. A ton of cards. Pavel Burry. 
Russian Rocket, Jocelyn Tebow, Jeff Hackett, Patrick Stefan rookie card. And so this is one of the parallels. There you see, it's the premier date parallels number to 73. So we were guaranteed one of these parallels. So there you go. Here, here's one of them. And it's a pretty decent one. I mean, it's the Patrick Stefan who was first overall in 1999. Yeah, Yager and Milan Heydu. He was a rookie that prior to 1998-99. So Johan Hecht was a rookie prior, I think. All right, continuing on. Uh, there's a Matt Sundin. Glory card, Jeff O'Neill, Rob Blake, a Johan Heck. So there you go. There's a Johan Heck. I was just thinking of a rookie card. Uh, Habi Bulin, as well as another Paul Korea. Jeff Friesen, Miro Chetan, Pavel Bure. And here's the Nick Antropov rookie card. This is, in fact, a true rookie. Jerome McGinla. Awesome to see Jerome McGinla. And a Cujo. Cujo. What a product. So here's another Johan Hecht. So this would be a rookie insert of sorts. Sergei Samsonov, Bill Guerin. And for whatever reason, this one's turned around. It's the Sergei Berezin, Jan Bulis, and a Johnny LeClaire Ice. What a set. Pavel Dimitra, rest in peace. Damien Rhodes. Johnny LeClaire, Tim Conley. So Tim Conley, again, is considered rookie. Now this is another one of the parallels, and it's number to 99. There's the Moose, and there's Trevor Linden with the Habs. So the number to 99 parallels are considered quote-unquote limited series. So we did receive a couple of the parallels, which is nice. The parallels look a lot like the base. There's Yara Yager, Paul Correa, Radic Bonk, Joey Juno, another Sergey Berezin, and the Eddie the Eagle Belfour. Cool. We did our Supules. And there's Brendan Shanahan. We have another rookie here. So we have Nicky Lindstrom, Theo Fleury. Nice. And the Robin Regeer is a rookie card, a non true rookie card, I believe. Dan Cluche, and the Dominic Dominator Hashek Elite. Oh, we hit our captain's card. There's Fedorov, Mike Medano, look at these names, Patrick Eliash. And our captain's card is none other than Matt Sandine. Nice. Well, that's funny. You flip it and it's inverted. Is that like, is that like a mistake or is that just how they did it? Team captain's card. Marlowe, as well as Noah Nolan. We have another Theo Fleury here. Another Medano, Joe Sackick, Mike Dunham, uh, another Theo Fleury. This, of course, is the uh, International Glory, Roman Turek, as well as a Theo Fleury. So this Theo Fleury is, in fact, a Passport to Glory card. Look, it's numbered 15 of 20. Very cool. Uh, this is another one of the parallels. Last pack, guys, another Patrick. Okay, International Glory of Patrick, Chris Drury, Saku Koivu, Robert Lang, Kovalev, and our last card would happen to be Steve Iserman. Uh, Ice Elite card. There you go, guys. All right, guys, time for the recap. So we did, in fact, receive our two box toppers, the Kramer's Choice uh, Jumbo, Paul Korea, as well as the Gold Crown Die Cut Jumbo of our man Patrick Watt, number to 960. Two really awesome, massive cards. Uh, that you only get within Crown Royal, super duper cards. With regard to our base cards, the die cuts base cards, uh, they're fantastic. They're really cool, these gold rim ones. Uh, all just really nice texture, substantial cards, and the names are fascinatingly big, huge names in this uh, set. Probably about 65% of the base cards. Then with regard to our prospects and rookies, we've received a big stack. The Alex Tonge, Christy, Johan Heck, that's a true rookie. Vladislav Nagy as well, Antropov as well, Steve Korea as well, and then the Robin Regeer. So these are uh, sort of silver rimmed as they are the rookie slash prospects, depending on whether they're true rookies or not. 
And then with regard to our parallels, we did receive the Robin Regeer number to 450 rookie prospect parallel. Patrick Stefan, who was the hottest name at the time, this was a premier date number to 73. So he also, is, he's a true rookie, I believe. And there's Tim Conley, another prospect, and he would be one of the limited ones, uh, number to 99, so the limited series one. So these guys are all um, rookie slash prospects, depending on whether you consider them true or not. Also received 24 of the International Glory cards. Here they are. Uh, just a stack of countrymen, if you will. Matt Sundin, Swedish one. There's Iago Sakukoi, Finn. Just awesome. Uh, Patrick would be in here too for Canada, as, as well as Mario Bordor. So a stack of these bad boys. And we did receive this Theo Fleury parallel. So this is a Passport to Glory, number to 20 parallel of Theo Fleury. Add that to the mix. And then in terms of our Ice Elite, we're supposed to receive 24 of them, and we did in fact receive 24 of them, so here they are. Uh, we didn't receive any of the die cuts. There are actually die cuts of these as well, but look at that, there's the Cujo. So bang, stack of these. Really, again, very sort of substantial, uh, glossy cards. And we're also supposed to receive two of the card supials. These are really interesting cards. Of course, they are very rainbowy, but then they have, like a marsupial, they have a little card within the card, uh, which is very peculiar and very strange. So that would be the Patrick and the Beezer, and then the Lindros would have a Dominic Hashek within there. So those would be our card supials. So I'll just place them over here. So that's basically it guys, 1999-2000 Crown Royale. That was fun. Please be sure to sub, like, and hashtag drive now. We'll be full cards live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah.